Okay, so this is question two of the October 2020 paper that we did as the summer exam. So we've got a Coast Guard uh, monitors something. We've got a boat that is at this point here, at point A we're going to say, and then he's there at point B. And the motion of the boat is modelled as a particle calculate the bearing. So the first thing I'm going to draw is draw some maps. Good. Okay, and then um, try and do the vectors. So we've got one, two, three, four, one, two. So we're down about there, which is four, two. That's the point A, four, minus two. And the point B is minus three, minus five. So I'm going to go minus three, minus five. So it has to be down here somewhere. That's my vector. Okay, just to give us an idea. And that's B. And we want to know this is the direction the boat is moving in. And we want to know what the bearing is, always from the north, clockwise, three figures knowing that this bit is 180, so I need to find that extra number. So if I find vector AB, will that help me? Well, I think so, because if I can find how far along, it's probably that way around, isn't it? If I how far along you would go and how far down, I might be able to find something. But it works the same way. I could do it this way. So I can find this value here using Socatel. So let's find out. So AO plus OB is the vector. I'm here. I want to go to here. I only know that and that. So I'm going negative down the A, positive up the B. So I've got minus 4 plus 2. I'm going to add it to minus 3, minus 5, which will give me minus 7, minus 3. And let's just check, does that look right? I'm going negative, so I'm going along this way in the wrong direction, so that looks good. Minus 7, minus 3, which means this is 3 and 7. So I'm just going to put 3, 7 there. So to get that angle, using Sokotoa, that angle, this angle here, 7 is opposite, so I've got opposite and adjacent, so it's tan theta equals 7 over 3, so theta equals, I need a calculator, inverse tan of 7 over 3, which I have got as 66.8. Okay, if I add that to 180, it will give me the bearing which is 246.8 degrees. The next part of the question, we have got calculate the speed of the boat. OK, so we need to find how far he's travelled. So B involves finding the magnitude of AB, which is just, well, and you can see from here, it's just Pythagoras. So that squared plus that squared, will, square rooted, will give us that. So it's the square root of 7 squared plus 3 squared, which is 21. No, it isn't. Where did I get 21 from? <laughs> 49 plus 9, which is the square root of 58. So speed equals distance divided by time. Then we know, uh, what did they say? Speed is, no, the distance is root 58. And the time was 2 hours and 45 minutes which is a decimal, is 3 quarters of an hour, so it's 2.75. And if I do root 58 divided by 2.75, I get something horrible, which changes to 2.76937 kilometres per hour, which to three sig figs is 